greetings. Oh, what the fuck is my controller? There it is. Nice. Is it not picking up my controller? I'm gonna have to do the thing again where I reboot the game. Yes! Alright. How's the car? Uh, it was fine on the drive home yesterday. Couldn't drive it at all today because it fucking snowed. Is this Helldivers? Yes. But with big fucking anime titties. <laughs> Lude. Thanks, Easy. Appreciate it, man. How you doing, dude? Thank you for the 74, man. That's a fucking lot of months. Like, that's a scene about months, really. Well, I cheated on you yesterday. No, I was so zonked. Man, I was so zonked. Like, I spent far too long in the fucking car showroom with the sales guy who just wanted to talk about everything. Really nice dude, but just... I just kind of wanted to buy the car and go, but he didn't want to just do that. So, you know, shit took a while. So by the time I got home, uh, it was late, and then I got some takeout, and then takeout tried to murder me, and so I was feeling a bit rough, and I was just like... <laughs> so, with all that involved, I was just like, nah, fuck it. Can't believe it's still snowing in the UK. Mate, we've had snow in fucking June before. Like, our weather's just fucking weird. Just goes with that sometimes. Right. Uh, I'll only be two sex, because I actually bought myself a Bepis. Mm. It's my weekend Bepis. <sighs> Fuck. Really? Dead Cells. Dead Cells is fun. Dead Cells is fun, though I, I enjoy it a lot, but I don't enjoy it as much as something like Dead Estate or Hades. I don't know. It doesn't have the same appeal. And it's not just the fact that it hasn't got Megara or giant fucking hooters in it. Just sheerly a coincidence. I just don't find it as fun. Though it is still pretty fun. Wow, snow crazy. I mean, in all fairness, like, it's not that the snow is crazy, mate. It's the fact I didn't want to drive my new car in the snow. Like, it's slippery and I didn't want to risk it. Like, snow, snow. Like, it wasn't that much snow. And it wasn't like, nothing was like shut or anything weird like that. But it's just, it's, it's not worth the risk, you know? Not when I can just wait for tomorrow to fuck around. I haven't played a full game as Kiss Eleven Angels, actually. I have not done that in ages. I prefer Dead Cells you have a, a sense of generally getting stronger. Yeah, you do, but I... In a way, I find it makes it too easy. Like, after a couple of the big power-ups, I found I was making myself relatively close to the end of runs quite often. When it was still quite early. I don't know. That's not too bad, but I didn't feel I'd earned it quite right yet. Like, I like to smack my head against the wall on those ones sometimes, but... Oh, thanks, Nacho. Me too, dude. But tomorrow, tomorrow is another day, and hopefully it will be warmed up a bit and I can screw around, so... I need to actually go into the town over, because uh, I wanted to check out some stuff um, in, in some bits in the town. So I'm going to do that tomorrow morning. I'll just get up really early. I'll get up really early. Uh, just have a super early shower, go for a quick walk, jump in the car, fuck around, come back. Should be good times. Alright, I shall stop the sad berserk music. And instead, we shall play the... This is the Big Titty Slan chapter, so... Oh, Neo 2 is actually really tough, isn't it? How far into it are you? Yeah, I actually, I recall playing, I recall playing the Qu Ice Queen Kislev one, Fiki, and I remember she being quite fun, but... Did I get the undercoating and extra warranty? Hilariously, I didn't need to get the undercoating because apparently uh, I lucked out. It's a four thousand pound undercoating, and the guy before me had it done. 
And so when I went to pick up the car yesterday, they were like, oh yeah, we checked by the way, when we did the service and stuff, the cars already had the undercoat room. I was like, oh, sweet. <laughs> so I actually gained, I gained like essentially a four grand undercoating on it, which is nice. On the treatment. Oh, you're a brave man to me, Fiki. I play on normal, I'm just a huge baddie, so... The giant boss. Yeah, I was about to say, that narrows it down like a tiny amount, maybe. The bull, the bull fly thing? What trap is that, roughly? That might narrow it down a bit. Fuck around in the car, am I going dogging? I'm not going dogging, I want to just try the uh, car. You don't go dogging on a Saturday, mate. You go dogging on a Thursday night. Honestly. Get your dogging etiquette, right? It's actually a pretty cool intro, this one. I like it. Alright. Yuki, isn't it? Fuck, I'm gonna have to look it up. I don't remember the name. Neo 2 is so balls to the walls difficult, though. Like, there's a lot of boss in there, just fucking bastards. The bull fly thing. Neo 2 Giyuki. Giyuki. Is, it the, is that the one in the pit? The, the giant one in the pit? It is, isn't it? I think it is that one, right? Yeah, it is that one. Yeah, he's tough, actually. I remember, I remember this one particularly because I remember I was flirting with this chick when I was fighting the boss, and I, uh, I managed to multitask like extremely well. I was pretty happy about it. <laughs> That's quite funny. Yeah. All right. You reread the manga to the point we're on the game. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So we've got to Enoch Village. Uh, there's a few more. There's a few things here. How, how many minutes are we? Seven minutes. I'll, I'll run a couple of the, uh, I'll run a couple of these on auto play, which saves my voice a bit. I'll, I'll read the main stuff. Farunese-sama kawarareta. Ano kuroi kenshi to teatte kara. Ii mon desu ne. O ninzu de idou. Ninja relies on safe space and all that giant monsters. I had a really fun build when we were streaming it, actually. I think I did it with the Onryo magic, didn't I? And the scythe. I think it actually ended up being quite fun. I don't think it's that that early, Fiki. I think it's like chapter four. It's quite it's a reasonable way. Yeah, mid guess what I was thinking, yeah. Some of the DLC bosses are brutal, though. Of the two DLCs I played, they were quite tough. Delicious flashbacks. I think Serpico likes being her property. I think he's into that shit. One and a half DLCs I played. Yeah, that's fair, actually. Played a bit of uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth today. Actually, really good. I mean, no surprise there, I suppose, but it's really good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright. So, Enoch Village, we're gonna uh, have to protect, uh, if I remember the manga correctly, we're gonna be protecting, um, Shoke, while we... Oh no, is my LB going as well as my RB? Oh Christ, it's gonna be painful, isn't it? I still can't believe the build quality on the Elite controllers is this shitty. I had an Xbox 360 controller, like an old one, and it lasted for so long. And I've had two Elite controllers and they've both been garbo. That's really sad. Any car pictures? Only the one I posted on thingy earlier. It's been snow. It was snowing, so I didn't. I didn't um, take any others. There was nothing. Nothing to see. You know, it was covered in snow. I'll take some tomorrow for you. 
Well, I'll return. I'll oh, Shirke. And it's Shirke and Flora talking, for those who are tabbed out. <laughs> May the blessing of the spirits be upon you all. Oh, thanks, Flora. She's nice like that. You were here then. You should have said something. Look at this absolute unit. Fucking huge. Really? Such bold children. A touch of uncertainty, though. Are you satisfied now? Hiding off camera. Yeah, like, like no one noticed this guy, right? Chad Knight. Yeah. Still, though, what stroke of fortune brought you to ask a favor of me? You must have crazy blind spots. I'm guessing he doesn't see traditionally, is my guess. I don't know. He's like a spooky undead dude, isn't he? Is it for someone's sake? Perhaps pity for a fellow struggler? Or were you just using him? Old friend, I want to believe the heart of a man still remains within you. So what we know about Skeleton Knight so far, for those to sort of keep everyone up, uh, Skeleton Knight seems to have a massive, massive fucking hard-on for trying to fuck with the God Hand. He really, really, really doesn't like them. Probably to the same extent that Guts doesn't like Griffith. There's, there's definitely a lot of animosity there. We don't know why yet. Um, so we, don't, we don't know why yet, but we uh, that's what we got the sort of uh, general gist of. We also know that he's, uh, he's very, very good at what he does, and as scary as he looks, he seems to be one of the good guys. Though he has his own reasons to do what he does. He blocked the when Void portaled his sword. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Though I'm not sure if that's I saw what he was doing, or the fact that he's fought Void before, and he knows the tricks, perhaps. The power of the Goud Hand. Man, that's such a great game. Even if I don't do it myself, that one may also be a factor guided by the laws of causality. Sate? God bestows us upon his fate, the fate called encounters. Flora's weird. She doesn't look that old, but she kind of, like, holds herself old. It's kind of an interesting one. Like, in reality, Flora, I mean, she looks like, I don't know, 50 at a push, right? Right, all enemies defeated. Any of the allies free from the battlefield? That's our condition system. Right, what can we buy in the... You can now select skills. When amalgamating accessories, there are over four skills. You can choose which skills to inherit. That's kind of fun. I don't think there's any things we give a shit about, though. I think that's going to be a no somehow. Is there anything I want to equip new? Actually, let's have a look. I don't know if we got anything new. Nah, I don't think so. I need to level up my green ring or do something with it because I'm. I've, it's currently sat doing fuck all. So let, let's see what we can do with the with the ring, shall we? Let's amalgamate using our. Okay, what what have I actually got equipped on guts? Am I being stupid? I've got. Have I not got anything better than that? I thought I had a defense thing on. Did I swap the defense thing over to Serpico or something? I'm, I must have done? I'm a little bit puzzled. Maybe I accidentally equipped something else. There we go. Alright. Sorry, I must just be a baddie. We don't see it in the game, he goes out of his way to save some people in the tower. He does, yes, he does. Like, the Skeleton Knight is a fucking bro. You hear about an ancient king a couple of times in the manga up to this point, and I think it's left up to your imagination, you know. Snow in March, what kind of frozen hell do you live in? I didn't think snow in March is that uncommon, surely. We we've, we get occasionally get snow all the way to late April. Like I said, we've had snow in June before, it can be pretty weird. In exchange for a talisman that would seal and subdue the brand of sacrifice, Guts and his companions were asked to protect the Enoch village from the trolls. Thinking that if the brand was to be subdued, he'd be able to control the dark, ferocious feelings that caused him to hurt Casca, Guts decided to take on the task. Together with the young witch, Shirke, they head out to deal with the troll menace.
その目でしっかり見極めてきます。<笑>はい。You know, telepathy and shit, right? <laughs> Thought transference sounds fake to me. <clears throat> and so, my special eyes, my brand. In regards to this troll slang, I want everyone to abide my instructions. <laughs> Come again? This, this ain't funny. Just because you're like, can use a little magic? You're gonna act like our leader? I like a hat. It's not as silly as my, uh, you know, Elden Ring hat, but it's pretty good. It makes the most sense, being the magic user. I am the only one who can grasp the entire progress of the battle and convey it to everyone. Hey, Froggy. When the trolls attack, the villagers will probably gather at the church. So, this is the only place to set up. But this place. If not for my mistress's command, who would bother with such a place? Shirky's like, yeah, fuck the Pope. What is it? Hey, Elsers. This place upon which the church is built, it used to be a shrine to the spirits of this land. The Holy See literally crashed the sacred places of the spirit faith and built their own churches to display their own political power. People invoke the name God when they go to war. They invoke the name God when seeking salvation over and over without tiring. When the key to save them may be hidden in the very ones they're trying to forget. Katarina's new sled model is fucking insane. Feels like Ted. Oh, really? It's like she like zooms around and murders people with it. <laughs> Guts is always so pragmatic. He's like, yeah, fuck them then. Then call it quits. If you don't feel like it, there's no need to endanger yourself for people you don't like. Someone tells you to do something you don't want to do, and you do it anyway. It's like a kid's errand. <laughs> She's like, Babaka. What an ill mannered, insincere person. Someone like him can never be my fate. Never. <laughs> it's the Moomin Trolls! Oh, fuck! The Kim and Relaxon have arrived. They're here. The preparation's in order. Let's go. We gotta bop some fools. And two ice guards. Oh, that's pretty cool. By the way, take a shot, everyone. We're on a new map. Oh my god. The trolls have arrived. We shall murder them. There are a lot of trolls. We should fucking kill the whole lot of them. Guys, also knows you might can't trust me down the heart in it. Also true. Catch you later, Rogue. Maybe it goes already. Right, So Shoke's noticing the very scary sort of uh, shadow that's living around Guts. The Beast of Darkness. Trolls are retreating. Nice, we did it. 
Putting Casca on the front line is a choice. If I, if I remember the story right, doesn't she get caught out or something and then they have to retreat to the church? That's probably what the game's recreating, I'm guessing. Destroy the barrel. Trolls hate trolls hate berries. Find out more inside. Trolls dislike this one little trick. Let's go. Trolls hate that sage. Use the barrels to keep the trolls away. What barrels? No. The village is being attacked. Oh no. Alright, let's go. Oh, Alright, let's rescue the citizen then. The rage doggo. The doggo of slight annoyance. Village around towards the temple. Good for you guys. Right. Let's go to the next load. I don't think they can get past the barrels. So I think we should be fine. Yeah, they're stuck. At least for now, anyway. Fuck them. Wait, you mean the citizens are mute? I like to pretend it's just Guts being very deft with his sword. Sugoi. Alright. More trolls appear. I hate trolls. Actually, the trolls in Berserk are gross. Like, they're seriously gross. So, you know, murdering them en masse is very good. They suck. Kill all these ones. They are very unpleasant. Yeah, no worries. I got you, fam. If you had friendly fire, every music game would be a disaster. Seriously, could you imagine? Fuck me. Right. Let's escort these peeps. It's funny seeing ho uh, guts on horseback after the Golden Age arc, honestly. It's kind of funny. Oh no! Super trolls! They're like regular trolls, but, you know... Super... Right, they're gonna be fine, so let's go back and talk about. Omega trolls. It's the, it's the nasty YouTube people. Fuck them up. Defend the temples of the incantation is finished. At this point, the best option is to go and bin the big trolls. Go and go to defeat, shouldn't we? Defeat all the trolls, I'm working on it. That should be this one. No, he's still low. They've been banned from 10 plus forums. It's the Reddit mods. Sugoi! That is extremely Sugoi. Sugoi to Kai? You only been banned from one forum. What did you do? That sounds like a story. Wait, did I just miss a troll or did it disappear? Pardon me, come through. You disagree with the mod, presumably. That's normally all it takes. That's 
little more. I love the cannon. They make they make the cannon and the, the dragon slayer in this feel so so strong. It's really fun. Like you could say that the gameplay in this is simplistic, in a way it is, but it gives that sort of real sense of power that you're just absolutely shit canning stuff. It's a lot of fun. We did it! All the trolls were defeated! Hooray! We did it! Oh no, more trolls! I feel we've been scammed. Making light of other people's panic, that's pretty funny. If you ever use the word panic and video game at the same time, you need to sort of just get some readjustment out of it. Unless, unless it's like real life money stuff that the video games munch load of your money or something like weird like that. I think that's legitimate. But like everything else, just go do something else. You'll be fine. It's okay. That was on Gaff. That's quite funny. Ga Gaff had a load of really shitty mods. Uh, there were some decent ones there as well, mind you. There's a couple of really good ones, but they also had a group of really shitty mods. Um, <coughs> Reset Area also has some somewhat dubious moderation. It's also, but again, also has some decent mods there, you know, so it's, uh, it does vary. We did it! Woohoo! It's kind of amazing how much better this looks like in this than it does in the anime. The, the anime CGI for this is just fucking horrible. <laughs> Yay! Fuck trolls! Yeah, they deserve it. Woohoo! Success! Why you gather research this place all the worst ga gaff mods gathered? No, no, I don't think so, not really. Um, I think what it is, though, there's... Are they jumping in? Yeah. I think I think the thing of... Ooh, it's raining. Nice. Oh no, it's that thing. I hate that thing. Right, let's go sort it out then. We don't like Kelpies. Kelpies annoying in SMT as well. Right, I just bit him immediately. Don't quite a lot of damage to the old Kelpie here. The frog horse? Oh, you wanna you wanna kill the killer? I think we just bin it together, mate. So I think we just killed together. Then. Uh oh. I think that's the game to give me a hint to go deal with that. All right. Fine. Here we go. No, I, I like to. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say Reset Area is like the place the worst gaff mods gathered or anything. It's sort of a fair whack of the gaff mods never got remodded on Era. I think that what Error has a little bit of an issue with is that um, rather than having like slightly better discussions, discussions get shut down a bit too quickly. To be fair, there's also a lot of bad actors just doing stupid shit, so you know it's 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 probably not super easy to moderate that. In all fairness, but I think they I think they're a bit overzealous all the time. That's just the, like my opinion, man. I mean, I'm, I'm not a fucking moderator, do I know? 
How's Serpico doing with the Kelpia? Okay, the ogre's upset. Stop being reasonable on the internet. That is disgusting behavior. Oh boy. I feel that's a bit of a scam. A bomb this motherfucker. I love the design of the ogre, I think it's cool. Hooray! I'm not sure how this will save the village, but you know. Absolutely savage this fool. There we go. Absolutely binned the ogre. How are you doing over there, Silverco? You've basically done no more damage than when I did it earlier. Good work, dude. Proud of you. I'll do everything myself around it. Pretty dynamic map, this one, actually, with the water as well. It's almost like a fucking actual video game at one point. Kind of crazy. The ogre is pretty penis headed. Yeah, there's a lot of cock going on there. Oh shit, I think he's immune. Oh no! Got over there. Oh, you can't, you can't, there's no, there's not many iframes on the dodge. Which does make things a bit tricky. There is a healing item over there. Hey, hey. There's a healing item over here, I think I'll just go Who'd have thought the frog horse would be such a bull egg? Damn you, frogs! Is that you, froggy? Because of it. You're right. Froggy can stay. Frog horse, they can't. We're gonna have to pin it. Sorted. Their sex named opinion of games is body from Gaff and Dera. Yeah, but they've always been nice. It's an American Central Forum. Like, you, you probably. Any, any American Centralized Forum, you're gonna get that really good. We did it! Hooray! And that's definitely the end of the trolls. Woo wee! I'm glad that's dealt with. Thank goodness. Hey, I don't see Casca Rafani anywhere. Were they swallowed by the flood? We need to look for them right away. How is it? Nope, I don't see them anywhere. Lady Farnese, they've still not been found, then... You shouldn't move yet, you got fucking binned by the frog horse. It's okay, I'm sure they're safe. Right now, Shirke's looking for their odd. They're my responsibility, because I allowed myself to drown in the force. If only I'd been more careful. Uh, in the manga, you get a bit more uh, uh, elaboration on this. She kind of um, gets lost in the moment when making the magic, and basically, she was trying to do a bit of water and ended up binning the entire, uh, the entire village with it. Oi. Hey, don't be so tense. If you try that hard, you won't be able to do what you can normally can. You did a good job. Honestly, I was surprised. You saved this village. Even if it was a little rough. Nobody blames you for anything. That being said, we're at your service, Miss Witch. I found them. I sent the rod and they're both unharmed. But what's this? They're being carried away by the trolls. 
Uh, in the manga, that's a oh no moment. Is all I'll say to that. Let's just just go with go with it. That's oh no. We better go rescue them. A jet ring. Look at that. Frenzy offense plus fifteen. That's a that's a big one. That's a, that's a big lad item. That is. I cannot carry all the accessories. Oh, we got to a horrible situation where we got too many. Try just bin a load. I don't want. Actually, we can keep that. Kind of anything with like stats that isn't attack, defense, or frenzy. I don't really give a shit about. There's a death blow one there, which is death blow power. I think that's pretty rare. I'll keep that as well. Could be fun to muck around with it. Hopefully we'll start getting some more interesting interesting ones. We kind of want to keep that defense up as well. That'll probably do for now. Trolls like women. Yeah, it's like Dragon's Dogma. You know when the trolls carry you off in Dragon's Dogma because they're like, trolls ill like, or was it ogres? I forget. They're like, they ill like women arisen. Or they like women too much arisen. One or two. It's nothing fatal, you can't be moving for now though. If you spend the night, your wounds should heal. However, we haven't got the time to wait. Please go right away. I leave Lady Farnes in your care. We'll be back. Guts doesn't give it. He's, he's ready for this shit. <laughs> Cold? Hey, don't just stand there. We'll leave you. Guts is kind of playing older brother to him now, which is kind of cute. Even if he is a bit of a shithead. The darkness, the Quilloff. Quilloff? Casca and Farnes has been, or Farney, as we should say, have been carried off by trolls, and Chucky uses magic to track the location. To rescue them, Guts and the party step into a world where the real and the mystical coexist. This is what this is kind of where the fantasy world sort of like bleeds in. We're going to have to kill a lot of trolls. Your entire party was always women, she never had an issue with trolls focusing on one character. It's always pretty funny when in Dragon's Dogma they just grab you and carry you off, and you're like, um, help? And you see your pawns running after you, like... Arisen, come back! You sure it's this way? I'm following the residual thoughts of the trolls. There's no mistake. You know, though, haven't the surroundings been getting gradually weirder for some time now? It's like the complete opposite of when we got to the witch's mansion. As I feared, this is the astral world, and not a very nice part. The astral world's region of darkness. Yeah, what she said. I'm gonna go with Cliffoth. Yeah, what he said. The vast extent of the astral world comprises many regions, each with its own characteristics and atmosphere. Ethereal bodies tend to gravitate towards odds of the same nature. Your character in Dragon's Crown was a huge muscle-bound woman, as God intended. Oh, you mean the Amazon? She's great, isn't she? Warm odds will be drawn towards warmth. Conversely, this place here, the darkness where hearts steeped in darkness congregate. That's the cool off. Normally this could not happen. For the astral world and the physical world to overlap each other this distinctly. Uh, this is Griffith's fault, by the way. Trolls and ogres, elves and spirit creatures. Ethereal life forms are being perceived by humans almost as if they had physical bodies. They 
They were originally inhabitants of our mental world, in nocturnal dreams and fantasies. If they were to end up existing in our physical world... Well then, what would happen? I don't know. But the world would be transformed. No, most likely it already has begun. With the appearance of a certain person. Griffith, Lucy the Scowl, he knows. Griffith! Fuck that Griffith guy. He did everything wrong. Any technique plus turn, don't care about that. Griffith's fault? I'm shocked, I know, right? Could you imagine Griffith doing such a thing? Right, didn't we get another death blow on the ring that was down here somewhere? Where's it gone? Can we actually filter? I hope I didn't accidentally sell it. No, there it is. 99. I don't know what happened when we get to 99. Is it just, does it cap out? Interesting. Nice. We gotta rescue Fani and uh, Kaska. Hey John, you alright? Oh, this game. It's fine. The fog is diminishing visibility. It really is like the uh, horrible forest in Dragon's Dogma. The troll den. Oh no, it's the strong trolls again. That's right, they left. Neat. Thanks. We just let our little witch to say. Oh, they're going off that way as well. Nice. Guts the master of stealth. I mean, in this particular case, it's probably a good idea, right? I mean, obviously, in video game terms, we could fucking mulch these guys all day, every day, until our fingers get sore. But, like, in the uh, manga, they have to be a little bit careful. Griffith had a hand in the mirror's passing to never get what's coming to him. Don't worry, his best mate is finishing it off. Griffith will get his, I certainly hope so anyway. Griffith's gonna fucking pay, I certainly hope. This looks fine. Protection, okay. Alright, we can do that. When the barbarian takes level two in stealth, right? <laughs> Jesus, my ears! Fucking lady fairy. There's a big troll up there, should I go bit him? Trolls have cleared the barrier! Fuck! <laughs> made a hole! Jesus Christ, how disturbing. It's alright, we got this. Oh no, no, not fucking Grignir! Oh no, not that guy. <laughs> Worst barbarian. I think the only sad thing about the Grignir thing is I'm pretty sure that guy died, realizing that the world was taking the piss out of his creation like forever. And rather than rolling with it and that he wrote something silly when he was younger, it like it really bugged him. Which is a bit sad. If I remember reading that correctly.
Again, the best barbarian is Pronar. Pronar is the only barbarian that's worth a sword. Pronar, son of man. You done, Shoko? Hooray! Success. Oh, it's a lone tr- It's a hero. Come on, man. Why are you do everything? Dave the Barbarian. I forgot about Tiny Barbarian. That's quite a fun little game, actually. Do we count the Amazon as a Barbarian? Does she count as a- Because she's, she's kind of a female Barbarian. I don't know if she counts. Although, actually, the Barbarian Lady from um, Pathfinder is pretty fun. She's alright. Amari or something like that? Kasuka says, eh? In this bit in the, uh, I don't know if it's going to show you this, in the manga, Fani's protecting Kasuka with the sword. From what, I re from what I remember, I think she does a pretty good job as well. She feels she's got a few self uh, self esteem issues. That's funny. She probably needs a hug. I think she needs a hug. Probably about, probably a dozen hugs. Oh shit! A big tree. I guess Amazons are Greek barbarians, but you know I wouldn't call them barbarians. I guess when you think barbarian, you normally think dude, right? I don't know whether you should or not, but no, certainly that's what I think. Whereas Amazon, of course, is, uh, you think a lady, because, you know. Oh, nice, the tree dropped money. We mugged the tree. Score. This looks fine. Look at this place. We're going to find Astal down here. Fucking bug boss from Elden Ring. Buy you time to cast a spell. Oop. The Thracians. You're a Bulgarian. Very fine. Damn you strong troll. There's another one, I know mate, I'm working on it. Alright, that's one bit. As with all of these Warriors games, generally, <laughs> we only care about the big troops, right? I put my grasses on. Why my grasses? Thank you very much for the reset, Bumpy. No, no, more trolls. They can't get around. Oh no, they can get around! I am protecting her. I'm working on it, man. There's just a lot of trolls. They literally came out of the side we were standing on. That's that's not my fault. That's that's hers. Finally found the girls, are they down here? Oh, Puck found them. Good job, Puck. 
So ladies. Oh look at that, Farney's getting stuck in. Thank you. やつは怪我で動けねえ。命に別状はねえよ。あんたを連れて帰ると約束した。we did it! Yay! All is well. Isn't it nice that something go good for a change? We did it. Alright, let's uh let's continue to murder our way out, shall we? Oh sorry, Fanny's having a moment, but you know. It's better these. There we go. I'll keep them busy. You guys go on ahead. There's far too many. All of these alone without any magical support? Just leave them to me. She's very sour about this. What's with him? I can't even find the words to make such an assertion. He must know how reckless this is. Hey, Arna, thank you for the raid, man. Thank you very much. Grass refers to the 90s Berserk ED English. Put your glasses on. Oh, really? That's hilarious. I didn't realize that. How did your, uh, how did your hunting go? Take care of Casca. Funny. Things you do are a big help. I'm grateful. You almost as what you, what you mean I'm reading it yourself, or um, what would you be reading it? You mean or Hunter's pretty good today. Oh, that's always nice. No, you needn't. Uh... You're actually reading it this time. Ah, good man. This this bit in the ma in the manga is great. It's Sudiro. You're the rear guard. Protect the women. But wait, I... You may just be a kid, but weapons you're forced to react with. I'm giving you the job because you're up to it. Show me it's true. It kind of uh, replicates what Griffith did all those years ago with Guts, where he gave him the job of the rear guard. Because, not because... Uh, not just because, or, you know, or he wanted to test him or anything like that, but because uh, he knew he could do it. We're gonna see Guts on a blind date soon. Yep. <laughs> you got it. I'll do it. All cool and flawless. You goddamn grown up. Now, time to get started. Damn, these things just keep coming out. It's been a while. A hundred man. No, a thousand man first. Defeat troll! <laughs> defeat troll! Alright, we shall defeat trolls. Well, very into the sorcerers of the fighting class. I like it. So, in the manga, again, for content, I don't know what it's going to show in a second. It'll show a bit of this, but Guts just keeps killing trolls over and over and over and over. And there is just. Bits of troll literally everywhere. Like they are it the floor is covered with bodies. Absolutely covered. I haven't felt this in a while, not worrying about anything behind me. Swinging my sword without anyone but anything or blinding me. Cutting loose all of my ferocity. 
He's in drowning pool. Let the bodies hit the floor. It's like it's like one of my AMVs. For no particular reason, I'm going to save up my uh, new set here. We did it! Thank goodness. Guess it's about time. Wait, this feeling. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maple kicking out with a bat. That's fucking awesome. Nicely done, dude. Having a serve wipe is really cool. Oh, hey, Slan. The first form I've taken in some time. Alas, troll entrails make for a revolting ethereal figure. Slan descends. Defeat Slan. Let's go fish her out, shall we? I missed you, boy. It's been so long. No, I felt you at all times. In the cave, at the tower, throughout your countless nights, I felt your agony. And as the path unfolded, I knew you'd come to my domain in the Quilloff. Was it, is it, the, what's her name? The Whore Princess of the Uterine Sea, I think her name is. Which is a pretty fucking metal title, in all fairness. Now let me feel it more, your rage, your anguish, let it all loose. Skeleton Knight appears! Thank goodness! Once you not interfere in the private affairs between a man and a woman, or you wish to join us, your majesty. Sorry, it's hard to keep up with the saying actually one point. Summoned, you say? I came here on my own because I wanted to see the boy. Then the time for talking is past. Men, all very impatient. However, trying their impatience is a woman's prerogative. This place might as well be my womb. Come rage with fury, bastard fetus of darkness. Slan, that's kind of gross. Stop the horny. Certainly the way that the pages are drawn and the way that uh, it all plays out in the manga, it's very sexualized. Like in terms, yeah. <laughs> hot, so hot, this feeling is tearing my ethereal body apart. She's got the horn. But it's not enough, not even close. She wants more! So Skeleton Knight's keeping all the dudes busy for us. What a chad. Thanks, bro. We'll, 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 we'll stab Slam, though I think she enjoys it. Yeah. 
It's funny how much uh, Slat seems to like want to fuck around with Guts. She really likes it. I mean, even you probably saw that even in the uh, even in the eclipse. She's like, she's very like, oh, this is interesting. Don't falter. Working on it. Giving up giant beatings. With that sword of yours, it can be done. Take that sword. Sword. I'm sure that won't leave any lasting mental effects. <laughs> He'll be fine. <laughs> Guts is confused. She literally just turned up here just to say, say, hello, say hello to Guts. That's all she did. Why is Skeleton Knight such a chad, man? Also, uh, Elden Ring has the uh, Blasphemous Blade that looks very, very like this in its own way. Fun little reference from Elden Ring. Yee! Or in Elden Ring, I should <laughs> it goes like, what happened? He's like, yeah, we just fucking teleported, bro. <laughs> Miyazaki and Screw are really big Berserk fans. I, I, I really hope one day they actually get to have a punt at a Berserk game. I bet they'd fucking kill it. I really do. It's actually a lot. The really nice, really nicely done cutscene with uh, Slan and Skeleton Knight there. I think it's a nice one. Again, it's hilariously better than what the uh, anime does. I wonder if I can find it. I wonder if I can find the scene with. I don't know. I don't know. It might be a little bit YouTube banned or whatever. Berserk anime Slan. Slan getting absolutely soaked. Yeah, we're probably not watching that one. Uh. I want the game one, and uh, not the game one, the, the actual 2000... I don't think there's any clips of it. Do I still have it? Ah, oh, do I still have it, I wonder, in my definitely not torrent files? Let me have a look a minute, I might still have it. So if I do, that'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? I don't know if I deleted it or not, I probably did. But... Overlord, Dragon Ball Super... I probably binned it. No reason why I keep it right. Doesn't look like I kept it. Uh, nah, I didn't. I must have deleted them after I finished, which makes sense, but shame. I'm guessing it doesn't get uploaded because it gets binned, or because it's so shitty that no one watched it. One of the two. But would have been fun to have a look at the differences. <laughs> a full berserk game, like all the chapters, that'd be so cool, right? <laughs> Oh, 
Lady Flaness, you're okay. I was worried something had happened to you. I'm sorry to worry you. You should have seen my part. Did you even do anything? Casca says, Bleh. Companions, I used to think it can never be like that again. Skellies and Knights Warhorse have been added to your Warhorse table. Yay! We get to get Skelly Bros uh, horse now. The horse show is officially uncancelled. Woo! The horse show can finally start. Wait, no. His horse is dead, right? Oh, God. I mean, un is it undeadish sort of horse? We're actually really close to our next power-up, funny enough. <sighs> that does it. All finished. It turned into a big job at the end. Isn't it nostalgic? Whoever thought we'd need to drag this out? There's no way you're unaware how dangerous this thing is. Casca Binla, that makes me sad. Yeah, I mean, that, that's exactly that, right? Like, the, the juxtaposition between how she was and how she is is just fucking tragic. That's the, the point, right? It's awful. It's, it's just a really sad state. I'm well aware since I've watched over it for so long. But all the more reason for it to become necessary for those children on their journey. Look at this fucking absolute unit of an armor. It's karmic. No, I do not believe that. People may appear to repeat the same mistakes. But karma is by no means a circle. Indeed, it is a spiral. Those children are not bound to choose the same paths you and I did. Certainly. They've come. The single most metal piece of armor ever written. Yeah, this, this is fucking great, obviously. My spiritual power is weakened so much for my barrier to be broken so easily. You'll fight for me? But either way... What you're not seeing in this... Um, it's not a loop, it's a spot. I was thinking that, Fuki. Fucking Alan Wake. What you're not seeing uh, in the manga... Um, Skeleton Knight kind of wordlessly, like, gets starts gearing up and gets his sword out and stuff, right? Which you're not seeing here. And she's like, you'll fight for me, but I'm about to die anyway. You know, she's, she's, she's dying. All the more for it to be at ease. So the only thing I can kind of glean from this is that Skeleton Knight, I think, is supposed to be over a thousand years old. I think. That means Flora probably is as well then. Unless unless they met later? I don't know. It's I'm not entirely sure. And again, this is a bit of... um. This is again using knowledge of what we know at to this point. I'm not spoiling things, but this, this is what I'm taking from that. Thank you. I won't forget your devotion, old friend. Raziel's health in so sorry if represents a spiral. Kowinky dink. Oh, Kane's speech in Soul at the end of Soul River One is so fucking badass. I love it so much. But what if it landed on his edge, Raziel? And he's like, and he's like, shut the fuck up, Kane. And then Kane just casually kicks him across the room. I think my favourite thing of all is when you replay Soul Reaver and you realise that Kane... Oh shit, this is a bit spoiler. Eh, it's, 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 it's old enough, I think we can probably risk it. Um, Kane looks at... Like, Raziel goes like, Dunna! With my with his wings. And you see in the you see in that scene, it's very obviously done and focused on his face. Kane doesn't look... Doesn't look jealous. He looks sad. And determined. 
as in it he knows about what he has to do and what's about to happen because he knows how this plays out because of, and what's about he's about to have to do to him it's really interesting like it a lot it's a very cool scene not that Kane isn't like a fucking monster he is but you know I, I still don't think he was super pleased about it and I think it shows that in the scene it's quite interesting time has less meaning for Skull and Flora yeah definitely I'll bet it'll, beco it'll become a legend around here. The brute slaying by the little witch Shirky. <laughs> no. All I was able to do the little things. Shut what shut the cliff off with some other power, not my magic. Guts is pretty, uh, pretty beaten up. Gutsu? What happened? Didn't his wound stop bleeding at the church? No, these wounds are quite severe. The wounds of his physical body have been declosed, but the wounds of his ethereal body remain unhealed. It's not a big deal, I'm just dizzy or something. I offer you my shoulder at least, though reluctantly. Don't bother. Guts, what actually happened in there after the rest of us fled? I kicked her ass with one stab from this. The monster pretending to be an angel. I actually wonder if Slan's title. We don't know. I don't. We don't know a huge amount about her, really, do we? Only. I wonder if her title is indeed is actually straight up fact, as in she was a princess of some of, of a country at some point. I wonder, rather rather than just almost a mocking title. I wonder if uh, I wonder if that she did have some sort of royalty. I'm kind of curious. How could that be? A human has no way to fight such a high level spirit. That sword. Maybe after continuously cutting of those of the spirit power, it gained some specialized power. Shoke is trying to explain power levels to Guts. But her power level was over a million Guts, but yours isn't that high. You need to go into the hyperbolic time chamber and, tra and train. What? The flow of odd deep in the forest from the mansion? Farney and Casca, wait here. There's something bad in the mansion, and it's not the trolls. It's them. It's the Apostles! We have to rescue Flora. So we have to fight our way inside to the mansion. Alright, we can do that. And then we can buy from the shoppy. That would be useful. I mean, attack up plus 10. Very nice, obviously. I feel dazzled plus 10. It's pretty nice. Alright, let's amalgamate. So we've got a... We want to just jump in the anything with attack up, really, don't we? Anything else has got attack up that'd be good? There we go. We want force. Sixty-nine attack up. A level. Slan of the God Hand appeared in the Quilloff. Slan could not normally summon herself to the physical world, but because the mortal world and the astral world overlapped, she was able to fashion a physical shape for herself out of troll intestines. With the help of the Skeleton Knight, Guts is narrowly able to fend her off. Guts and his companions rescue Casca and Fani as they leave the Quilloff. Meeting up with Serpico, they make their way back to the Witch's Forest when... Shit's on fire, yo! This is what I think his name Grunbeld, I think his name appears. Bach! Tell them it was Grunfeld Bach that sent you! Bach! <laughs> Accursed spirits! Damn you, spirits! How cursed! We better burn them. It's not them. Something worse is coming. So, Guts at this point is pretty injured, by the way. Like, he, as, as uh, Shoke said, she, he is not in a good way. He is, he is uh, pretty heavily injured. He's doing what he can, but, you know. 
Grünfeldbach! Jun und LaCroix! Where is LaCroix? We did it! Woohoo! Oh no! Gribblers! What are those? Weird. It's the Apostles. It's the new band of the Hawk. So we're on a distracting mission, though. By distracting, let's uh, literally murder everything. That'll distract us. What? Oh, they're over there. Cool. Good luck, guys. What do you mean trying to kill LaCroix? I mean, LaCroix, don't forget, like, LaCroix is a jobber in a way, but LaCroix is a, a powerful vampire in his own right. Don't, don't, don't forget, he was, uh, he's an eighth generation vampire. Like, he, he's pretty, he's pretty sturdy. He's a, st he's a sturdy dude. And while he was a bit of a jobber, he was clever enough. He was clever enough. And for a human, he would seem like an utter... He, I mean, for a human, he would seem like a complete monster, right? Like, that's the thing. Though, as we know, humans with a high faith stat in that scenario could do a lot of damage to that player. If we're taking what we saw... Uh, if we're taking what we saw... Oh, I didn't put the Skeleton Knight horse on. I'm an idiot. If we're taking what we saw at face value with the fight with Buck... And not just, you know, video game shenanigans. He held off a 7th generation vampire for a pretty damn long time. That's, uh, th that's no mean feat. That is no mean feat at all. That same vampire took out a werewolf, albeit with help, but, you know. I mean, to be given the print of a city like that, like, um, you know, LA, he would, he would have been pretty good at what he did. I mean, we only see LaCroix in his shitter moments. We only see, we, we only see him in his shitter moments, of course, but... I can only assume that he, before we sort of made a mess of things and he was somewhere else, he did pretty all right. Uh oh, the golem bro is trying, man. He's trying. Alright. Aid the golems. So we got we got to basically hold out for a few minutes. So. I think the best thing to do is beat the, uh, beat the, uh, the bigger ones up over here. The mansion is on fire, which is, uh, which is bad. Croy could dominate the player at the beginning. I'm not sure if that's down to the player not knowing what they're doing, though. I feel. I'm still... I know people are a bit worried, but I am still looking forward to what they're going to do with Bloodlines 2. It'd be interesting. At the very least, it'd be interesting. I'm very curious. Right, we killed the two big ones, which is the main one.
Alright, we got some more big lads to try and burn in the down this way. We lost another girl, though. man. There we go. Hey, it's got a night. Yeah, like the regular apostles are trying to fight Skeleton Knight, he's just gi giving them absolutely zero fucks. Skeleton Knight will just eat these guys. Let's go. Alright, we want to kill that other, other big lad over here then. Dude's like, why are you here, Skeleton Knight? He's like, I'm best mates with the lady in the mansion. Which one have we lost over here? These golem bros are trying their best, but... Who's on the brink of fleeing? Oh, we lost one. Yeah. Strong guy on the brink of fling. Can we get to him in time? Has he got enough health? I think so. Yeah, we go, we got him. We got him. Don't worry, Golem Bro. We got you, dude. The War Demon's reinforcement unit? Nah, it's probably fine. We got another. We got another minute. You wear guns close to the feet. Come on, go. Let's get your shit together, guys. Yeah, they passed by like a bit briefly there, but yeah, when Shaki's upset, she uh, can't cast magic very well. And she's obviously upset because, you know, her home is on fire. Only one strong girl in remaining. Oh, fucking hell. I guess we should go over and sit on him. Maybe on 20 seconds. It's amazing how bad this goes up. Stop being bad. did it. Oh shit. It's Zod. It's probably fine, right? And Grunbel Bach has arrived. Uh, oh my god. Defeat Grunbel and Zod. Oh yeah, this is going to be fine. This this is going to be absolutely fine. It's Zod and his mate. This is going to end in tears. I mean, me and Skeleton Knight have grown up here, but like, uh, this is looking pretty, looking pretty hairy. Oh, 
Zod. I, Grunbeld, wish to be the one to fight him. Hmm, fine then. Thank you. So yeah, Zod hyped us up to his mate. He's like, he's like, Dragon Boy, Dragon Boy, and he's like, what Zod? He's like, L listen, this fucking guy, this this absolute unit of a human. He's got this massive sword, right? Right? I mean, like, I know you're pretty big, goat, but like, this guy, this fucking sword. It's <laughs> gonna end in tears. I, Grunbelt, as a warrior of the Band of the Hawk, call upon the Black Swordsman in single combat. Nani? Nani? What? He just... Takano. The Band... The Band of the Hawk? Takano On guard. What could possibly go wrong? He's only like the world's biggest bastard. Takano How dare you say that? Guts is a bit upset about this. With a cannon shield. Yeah, I mean, Grunbelt, I mean, you can probably tell from this. Like, Guts isn't a small dude. Grunbelt is fucking huge. He is absolutely enormous. <laughs> <laughs> so in the manga, like any time Grumbled wax guts one, he goes absolutely flying. He's hit, he's hitting him with such force that he's having very much trouble uh, dealing with dealing with it. Okay, listen carefully, my favorite pupil. Get that to the black swordsman. You don't mean that. At this rate, mistress, you'll die. Scrim reminds you of Dark Knight Krios in the old Sentai show. Do give those rangers the business for weeks. Did he, did he bend a lot of them? Yeah, I mean, obviously the video the video game versus what's actually happening is a bit sillier, but, you know. Pretend, pretend we were getting knocked about and we weren't killing him. You should know it well yourself. That time has come. And so have I! <laughs> you, as a sorcerer, should know how sinful it is to live beyond the extent of your allowed time. But I'll be lonely. In the sunspot, my head in your lap. Afternoon tea with the golems. It's gonna be gone. It's all gonna burn. Hey, what are you gonna do at this rate? We head for the treasure chamber. Something's there we must give to Guts. I do not know whether this man is my fate or not, but right now the only one who can save him is me, the Megas. I am the only disciple of Flora, the Forest of the Spirit Tree. Of Flora of the Forest Spirit Tree, sorry. Oh yeah, look, we're losing. As a warrior, you aren't worth death by my warhammer. Fall to pieces and litter the ground. Guts here. Yay, we did it. Frenzy inertia? That's new. What's that, I wonder? We'll have to, we'll have to get that, I think. Straight into the next one. Defeat Grunbeld. It's called the Berserker Armor. Oh look, we got a new, uh, we look different. Spoilers, damn it! Fucking, fucking noobs. 
death blow power, we'll take that as well, because we want to fuck around with that. Right, let's amalgamate that, uh... I have no idea where it went. It's the black snake ring. Better to stick it at the top. There it is. Death blow inertia. Skill info. In it doesn't tell me. That's really unhelpful. Makes death blow go feel easier. Ooh, I like it. Nice. I got too many accessories. Yeah, probably. Ah, fuck it. We'll do the rest later. More interesting just to jump into this. The witch's forest being attacked by a group of apostles calling themselves the Band of the Hawk. It was seen Griffiths reform the Band of the Hawk from a group of apostles. They were ordered by him to find and kill the witch that lives there. Guts is furious at the apostles who dare call themselves the Band of the Hawk, but his wounds from his battle with Slan are still fresh. And Guts is hard pressed to stand against them. <laughs> Thank you, Mio, for the 60! That's a friggin' long time, man. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much, dude. Whee! There it is. Love this look. We now have the Berserker armor on. We're a tad faster. We become Sanic, yeah. あれは同和府によって作られた呪物。巨戦士の甲冑です。甲冑の内に宿る。まがまがしい斧の流れに同調したものは。まさに鬼神と化します。そして。とてつもない力を発揮するのです。あの、let it's super it, it's kind of goofy but it's also super awesome as well yeah like you can like obviously you can't tell but like playing it alone like he feels he's so much faster to control like he's so so much faster to control like he, he he's very very responsive in comparison. Well, I was going for my drive. Sadly, not. I'm gonna do it tomorrow, son. I'm gonna do it tomorrow with no snow. I only wish we got the anime song for this part. Is that when he uses the new version of forces for this? I can't remember. I could put it on actually. Should we? Should we do that? Should we? Should we make it our own music for this? 
I think we should. Don't know. I'm gonna do it because the music in this is kind of like whatever. All right. It's Berserk 2016, isn't it? It's called Hayo, isn't it? It's Berserk Hayo, I think it's called. There we go. It should be this one. Not how loud that is, I'll be a bit careful. There we go. I'll just stick on loop until we finish. There we go. It should be loud enough, I think. I think this is the same song it uses, I think, so. He's, he's enraging, but so are we. I think he's currently immune. Yeah, you don't see this, but when Guts is fighting, he starts taking his like ribs get broken, his arms get snapped, and the armor base just sticks it back together. <laughs> That was kind of well timed with the song, actually. Yeah, it's all just fighting Skelly at this point. Yeah. This is kind of a sort of representation of what happens though. You get, like, uh, Grunbell gets absolutely rough and stomped. Skelly Blur and Nihilate Zod. I think they're both pretty, they're both pretty burly, I think. Mean. He'll die if he goes on in that state. What do I do? It's my fault again. What have I got to do? I think at this point we should probably swap to the other one. Now we, now we have the sad one. You will deal with it. You now appreciate your inexperience and the danger of drowning in power. For this very reason, it should be possible for you. I thought Guts could fight evenly with Zod pre-armor. Nah, Zod got, uh, Guts got fucking bodied. Like once, once um, Zod transformed, it was pretty, it was pretty juju. I think he did better the second time. I think he did pretty good the second time, mind you. This swordsman lost in the turbulence of power. You'll show him the way. I will try, mistress. I'll reach him. Oh, 
It's odd respects Guts. I think he wants a, a good, solid, fair fight, I think, is, is what he wants from Guts. Uh, yeah, I mean, Zod respects the shit out of Guts. Guts. I, I want to say there's some sort of mutual respect going on there. I don't think Guts likes him per se, but I think he does respect him. I think that's why he was quite upset when he when he sort of said to uh, Zod, he was like, why are you fighting for him? Like, he thought better of him, I think. Like, that's the thing, Zod isn't a, like, Zod's not a fucking sicko. Like, he's not like a lot of the other ones. He's not like murdering people for fucking... Like, because they get, like, sexual pleasure out of it, all the weird stuff. He just wants a good scrap. He wants a good scrap. That's what that's what he's really after. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's not a nice guy. But he's not, like, he's not like some of the other ones who are completely twisted. These flames. Anger. This is the hateful turbulence that flows deeper than the armor. That's the image Guts projects when he's clad in the odd of the armor. You shouldn't yield to the flow. You'll cease to beat yourself. Remember who you are. It doesn't matter. Oh, this would have been so much better animated. This is so poor. Game, please. Ugh. Of course it matters. Remember the reason for your journey, the reason you're fighting right now. I just thought Skull Knight was basing a tier of his own relative to basically anyone else. I think he is, but I want to say that Skelly, Skelly Bro is holding back a bit because he wants to, um, he wants to save his like trump cards for Void. I want to say. A human soul wouldn't be tattered over something that doesn't matter. An impressive premise for a shonen. The protagonists get stronger not to fight more powerful enemies, but to fight one specific one who's letting them live because they want a good fight later down the line. That's quite, that'd be quite funny, actually, yeah. Uh, in, in the manga, what's happening here, because this is not very clear, Guts is kind of lost in his rage. Like, the Berserker armor is kind of just drowned him in it. And, um... Shirke is sort of tel tele uh, telepathically trying to bring him back to his senses, and he's trying to remember what he's fighting for and what he's doing here. Because that armor fucked him up pretty good. I feel this, uh, I feel this works. I'll put it back up. I feel this works this soon. Who is that? I know her. This, sh this should have been one that's got animated, yeah. It's, it's pretty... I mean, this game had no budget to begin with, and I bet I'm guessing most of it went on the uh, the movie clips. Unfortunately, I think they did a pretty good job with what they had, but it's still pretty messy. Remember, her name is Casca. Yes. Yeah, like the visual, the visual for guts here when this is happening is that this he's got the. Uh, the wolf-like head of the armor is like half over his face at this point, and his, his like lower jaw is showing. But it's showing that it's got a control over him, so... Sort of. I'm not sure how much of that is actually physically what the armor is doing, and more like what it's doing in his head. It's, it's hard to say, but like, that's that's what's going on. Once again, this is probably why you should read it, because you're missing out on a lot of stuff. If you enjoy what you're seeing, I highly recommend doing that, because it's more of this, but way cooler. Your name is Guts, the branded swordsman, Guts, the protector of Casca, the branded girl. I think it's all in his head, yeah. Ugh. Run, they're following us. The mistress is still. And one bit of context I think we missed... One of the bit of context I think we missed was that when Skeleton Knight and Flora are talking, the implication is, I think, that that armor is Skeleton Knight's old armor. That's the implication. And that that's why Skeleton Knight is as he is now. I don't know if they said that... I think that's what... I think Flora and Skeleton Knight talk about it. I don't know why they didn't say that here, but... That's the implication. Is that it, it's his old armor, and she looked after it for him when he went on his little mission. 
And I think it was a case of... What, 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 I mean, this whole story is about, like, what will you do? He says it later to him. Oh, yeah. A lot of this story, I think, is what will you do to, like, to win? To fight the monsters? And I think in Skeleton Knight's choice, it was give up his humanity. And what they were talking about, about the whole it's a circle, not a spiral sort of thing, you know? Was, at least the way I take it, is that Guts won't necessarily go down the same path. He won't throw away his humanity in the same way that um, Skeleton Knight did. To, to get to get what he wants. I mean, Skeleton Knight, from what I understand, Skeleton Knight is going after Void. I think Void is his Griffith. So something obviously happened between the two of them. So. Go now. This forest will not last much longer. The time has come for you to leave the nest. Go forth and find your path. <laughs> The days I spent with you were short, but in my long life they're the most serene. Thank you. My existence, my existential form will merely change. We can meet again in your dreams. Whether you grasp the fate before you is up to you. May your going forth be blessed, beloved child. Farewell, my sunshine. Honestly, if I was in the direction of the music for this game, this is how I'd have the ending screen happen on some of the more serious scenes. There would be no fanfare, it would just be silent, like this. This is not a victory fanfare, this is shit has gone south pretty bad. We stopped the apostles, but Flora's dead. Bad stuff's happened. But you know, that's just like, my opinion, man. This is the sea? Freaking huge! That looks like fun. I understand Isidro grew up in the mountains, so it probably came as no surprise. We did it, Patrick. We saved the shit. Yeah, seriously. How much long does this go? Not much, not much left. Not much left. Although, it's honestly to the point where... I kind of feel this is... And I don't mean this to be a tease, but I kind of feel this is actually one of the perfect places to stop. Like that, like... At this point, there is kind of... There's a couple of scenes left that are kind of okay in this, but it's pretty crap for the rest of it. It's not great, and I feel that um, watching it... Uh, reading it's better. I, I will keep going if you want to see it. But there isn't much very impressive stuff left, generally speaking, here. It's the, it's, it's the Kushin stuff and the Emperor stuff, but it's very, 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 very abridged. You'll see a couple of spooky-looking tigers. And uh, one reasonably cool scene, but here. What a child, getting all worked up from seeing the sea. It's just a big puddle. You've been enjoying this, Froggy? This is nice. I thought I wouldn't have a chance to ever again watch the sunset and be this calm. Guts his hair gone a bit white. Even the end of the Emperor stuff. It basically skips most of it and goes straight to the end. More or less. Because every time a sleepless night would follow. I'll actually check it after we've done this cutscene how much how many stages there are left, in fact. It began, it became impossible to rest during the nights again, but his body covered in the black armor had already begun to change. Like I was saying, this is literally the, you know, to become, to fight monsters, you gotta, you gotta become a monster or whatever. Out for a stroll? It's definitely hard to catch any sleep in the moonlight. 
I should feel this work so much better without the music. Seriously. It's so much more like tense and stuff. Guts, your wounds might hurt, but even for a forced rest would help. I don't care much for the night sea. When you stare at it, it gets to feeling like you'll be sucked to the bottom of those pitch black swells. I'd never seen the sea before. My mistress spoke of it. She said it leads to the astral world. It's where Cthulhu lives. Beautiful, graceful, ominous, and dreadful. A spectacle that touches everyone's heartstrings in such a way. Such a place must be connected to the astral world, she said. All I did at the time was imagine it, but standing at the seaside like this, I understand what she meant for the first time. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing is a literary advice. <laughs> I'm now in the place I don't recognize. Though it's only been a few days, it feels like I've come a very long way. I've set on the journey without return. Boy, I hope no demon crocodiles would suddenly show up and ruin the moment. That would suck. You're trying too hard, you know. <laughs> you only distract us all of that so cleverly set in your own ways, worrying everyone about everyone except yourself. Have I fucked up and not done the chat? Oh no, it's just they're useless. Useless! Alright. Demon what? Scrockly dials. You only just distract yourself like that, so cleverly set in your own ways, worrying about everyone but yourself. It, it, it's almost like Guts is getting that that their them their character growth. It's like he's he's become the more mature and teachery and wise among them. Spooky. If you keep that up now as a kid, you'll get old and twisted before your time. I bet that's experience speaking. <laughs> yeah, it is. You didn't need to worry. When we, magic users, part with a loved one through death, it carries a different meaning than for the physical world. To us who live in both worlds, death is not the end, but an emergence into a great new existence. It is never... Again, one thing I can't fault. The voice acting is really solid for all the characters. I like it. I feel relieved in a way. My eyes and nose sting from the sea breeze. I always see this a lot in, uh... I see this a lot in, like, uh, TV shows, animes, or whatever. They talk about your eyes and nose stinging from the sea breeze a lot. As someone who lives on a fucking island and frequently is by the sea, I've never really noticed it stinging particularly to a point where that, that, that would bother me, but maybe it's because I'm what I'm used to. Who knows? <laughs> like, I don't know. They always talk about how it stings. I'm just like, eh, does it? Eh, you sure? Even with like sea spray, it never feels that bad. Maybe is that is it just me? Eh, don't know. <laughs> to be honest, so do I. All over. Ah, <laughs> You are pushing yourself. You live by the sea. You can't tell how that happened either. Yeah, maybe we're just used to it, fair enough. I don't know. But then again, Japan's an island nation. Shrug. <laughs> Look how fast you're growing up. I never thought her guess her first one would be an older guy like this. <laughs> hey, knock it off. 
イルドな年上の人に初めて芽生えた少女の淡い思いイヤーくすぐったいんラブリーン A girl's first feelings flowering for this wild older man Eek how special how lovely <laughs> God's like We've got company. It's our boy! You, still surviving, I see. Right back at you. I love that these two have, like... I don't know, I'm not sure what kind of relationship you'd call this. It's not really master-teacher. Big brother? Little brother? I don't know. It's a, it's a funny old one. Skeleton Knight really does care for him, though. And I think Guts certainly respects him a lot. It's, a, it's an interesting... Yeah, like a rapport, isn't it? Yeah. You can even see the teeth of the armor around his neck. Like the actual hel like the helmet teeth, which I find interesting. Old and young boxer. Actually, that's not a bad shout. Yeah, like the, the, bo the older boxer teaching the younger one. So what brings you here today? I doubt us check on my recovery. Don't tell me you you being here means there's an apostle nearby. <laughs> He's just like, yeah. I still love that the skeletal horse also has the spooky red eyes. Like, our bro found the best horse possible for him. Like, this, they, they, these, this horse and this guy are soulmates. Look at that horse. What a bro. <laughs> Colour fades from before the eyes, the tongue loses taste, shivering plagues the fingertips. <gasps> how, how do you know that? It's an omen. Each time you wear that armor and fight as the Berserker, light, voice, warmth, you'll come to lose many things. That sounds about nasty enough for a cursed item from our place. <laughs> sounds nasty, alright. As always, you talk like you know everything. Thanks for the warning, but sorry. That ain't gonna happen. I'll never lose myself that way again. Next time, I'll show I can handle this thing with temperance. As he says, I won't let it happen again. I won't let it happen. But begging your pardon... Just what kind of relationship did you have with my mistress? Is not the suit of armor something you once wore yourself? This is an interesting line. Um, not the not for the story wise, but like the way the Japanese is translated, I guess. You're quite shrewd, as I'd expect, from the dearest student of the Witch of the Spiritry Forest. Obviously, that presumably has a very specific phrase in Japanese that just doesn't translate out very well. Like, the Witch of the Spiritry Forest isn't, is like, an interesting title, isn't it? I don't know. It's a strange one. Indeed. That armor is something I once wore. In the distant past, when we lived within the reason of time, we were friends. Exactly like the two of you now. Gotta use the entire title. They do it with the knights as well. It's like it's like the knight, the unicorn, the fifth division, holy iron knights of the unicorn of Doldre, as opposed to just like Doldre's unicorn knights or something. You know, it's 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 a very official title that you wouldn't really use in English in the same way, which I always find interesting. Or the holy iron chain knights, as uh, with uh, Farney's part of. 
Which is, again, it's just an interesting, interesting one. The odd that dwells in the armor is a coal which never dies out. Even once contained, the coals yet smolder. Given the chance, it will explode into a hellfire. Even with a talisman applied to it, never make light of it. If you wish to continue living as a human, that is. I mean, you're looking directly at it, Guts. Like, that's what you'll end up with. That, that'll be you. Right, what I'm going to do is quickly back out of here. Uh, and check how much is left. I'm kind of curious, like, how many missions it's got. Because I can't quite remember what it does and where it parks. So give me a second to have a look. Uh, so it's probably... Episodes cleared, 100%. We're at 95%. We're at 95%. I think we're like a few missions away, is my, is my guess. I'm having a quick look. Let's have a quick look. Eh, eh. I'm going to hide the screen so you can't see this, the titles in case of spoilers. So I just want to see how far. Oh wow, we're literally, uh, it's three missions away. It's three missions. So the next stream will be the end. I'll, I'll, fin I'll finish it, I thought it was slightly more than that. I'll, I'll finish it, I'll finish it off. I was gonna leave it because I think that the scenes it's gonna show are not very fun. Um, and it's much more fun to see them in red, but you know, shrug. The Tomb Raider remaster is really good, isn't it? It is It is really, really good. It's incredibly heavily abridged, right? Yeah. There's there's so much to, like that that it obviously has to skip. I'm kind of surprised they didn't end it at the at the Berserker armor Grunbelt fight, truthfully. But I wonder if it was a case he wants you to use it in a few more um in a few more missions, like just so you could fuck around. I'll show you where I'm at to on uh, on Tomb Raider actually, if if anyone's interested quickly, because we got we got we got another 15 minutes or so. I'm still I'm still um I'm still putting my way through it. Um. Oh, am I gonna have to swap my controller over? No, I can probably make do with this for now. I can probably make do with this for now. I haven't. Uh. I haven't mucked around with, like, Tomb Raider 2 at all. I'm actually kind of curious, like... I wonder, I wonder how different Lara looks in the, uh... Welcome back. After that grueling business last year, I decided to build this assault course to hone my skills and learn some new ones. <gasps> oh, yeah, I forgot about... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking butler. <laughs> I always remember we were like trying to lock the butler in the fridge or whatever. For bigger gaps, I need to do a running jump. Back to the start. This is a map in is it? This is, this is in Power Wash Simulator. Right. That's so funny. You need to press jump and fork together for me to clear the gap. Run back to the start and try again. I remember I remember doing this doing this so often. I remember gaps, doing this so often. I need to do a running jump. Back to the start. Like we're trying to trying to get the assault course done and stuff okay. was always so interesting. That was quite a tough one. Uh, how do I quit out again? I'll make Shit. It just right. There is a go back to main menu option. I completely forgot where it is. Probably under controls. Ugh, okay. whatever, it's just, it's so quick, I'll just load it back up. So, I'm still doing Tomb Raider 1 at the moment. I don't want to skip ahead anyway. 
Weirdly, I haven't... There's quite a lot of the newer... I probably talked about it the other day. But there's a lot of the new Tomb Raider games I haven't played at all. And, um, like, the anniversary one they did. And, uh, Legends and some other one. That are supposed to also be really, really good. Oh, shit. Can he actually get me in here? I bet he can't. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Playing with my busted-ass fucking 360 controller is going to be really hard. Lol, eat shit, mate. Yeah, but you can actually see how the game is quite dark. It is quite dark on this as well. You're in the Gre you're in Greece. Ah, oh, nice. I've just finished the Greece missions. Like some sort of undead nightmare over there, but that's all out. Thing is, right, I haven't I've I don't think I've ever played these particular stages. I only ever played stages one to four back in the day, I wanna say. Nice. And what's what's incredible and I find endlessly interesting by the way, is how fucking intuitive and good these feel to play. Like, I've, I've never seen these stages. Like, like the Greek stages I never saw. Um, at least I don't think I did. I don't remember them anyway, if I did. And it's just, they're so... They feel so natural. Like, they, they've really done a... Like, back in the day, they did such a fantastic job. Do you hear the Epic Games Store version of this game didn't have the darkness problem? Aspir went, sorry, let's fix that, and they patched it. Yeah, they put, they did, pa they did like version parity <laughs> instead of just making it work for the Steam version. They said there's gonna be a patch in like two, or, two or three weeks. They said, but yeah, that, that was pretty dumb. That was dumb on their part. I do. It is always kind of fascinating to. Uh, oh God, I always forget how triangular Lara is. I d it is quite funny that the way they were like, we need to give her breast definition, and they just give her a fucking stabby pyramid. But like, um, the difference between the two versions is like, fucking hilarious to look at. It really is. Like, like honestly. <laughs> anyway. The face on the Sphinx, yeah, like, do. Oops, sorry, Lara. There we go. Who needs more tips, Nacho? What's in here, anyway? Okay, there's a golden door here that we can't go through at the moment since we don't have a key. Fine. But we know it's here now. If I recall, the mega chest was a mistake and no one noticed it. Yeah, oh, really? You're, no one noticed? Uh, that one I find highly dubious. That one I find highly dubious. Look at that, she can't even see her feet. Yeah, I know. I was talking to Faye about it on um, Discord the other night, actually. Interestingly. Oh, there's some goodies down there. Like, barring the darkness problem, which only affects a couple of areas, it's actually... This has been a really, really awesome, um, like, remaster. And I've been... Like, honestly, I've been genuinely having a stupid amount of fun playing it. Like, it's got just that incredible, very, very gameplay, like, solid gameplay feel, which has been really, really enjoyable. So what do we do on this pillar? It looks like you can do something there, doesn't it? So we have to put something in this pillar. Okay, looks like different keys. Fine. What was interesting, and I, I don't mean to talk talk for people, but I can only speak anecdotally. My ex-girlfriend uh, absolutely adored old Lara. And she found new Lara enjoyable enough, but she all she really wanted was a, a game with old Lara back in it. And she, that's when any time like Lara Croft came out, she just went, "I just want the like the gun toting, glasses wearing, ass kicking Lara back." And um, I actually wonder. And I've spoken to a few a few of my friends who are ladies as well, and they they sort of have a similar sort of opinion. And I wonder if that's a more generalised opinion from ladies about Lara. Like, if there's a particular Lara they prefer or not. Hmm. Where do we go here? Looks like we can climb up and go round, maybe? I don't know. Dino Genesiding Lara is best Lara. 
I mean, I enjoyed Tomb Raider 2013, the new one, uh, on the island. I thought that was a lot of fun. Hmm. I did think that was a lot of fun. Oh, we could probably draw. We could probably uh, move this somewhere, couldn't we? If we we could probably pull this out. Where do we want to go, though? Over the no. I wonder where we go. I don't see an obvious. I don't see an obvious way. Anything down here? All right, easy. Take care. <coughs> Keely Hawks was the voice of Lara. Do I know a Keely Hawks? Would I, would I recognize her? I probably recognize her voice, I assume. Hmm, I actually don't know where we're going to go. Is there a, is there anything in the water I've missed, I wonder? Can we swim elsewhere? Maybe that's where we're going. Again, because it's so dark, it might be better just to do this so I can see what I'm looking at. Doesn't seem to be anything obvious down here, does it? See, this is why I probably wouldn't stream this, because it'd be an entire stream of me going, hmm, hmm, where do we go? Hmm. Ah. Ah, can we get through there, do we reckon? Lara's pretty skinny. You skinny enough, Lara? I don't, I don't think she's skinny enough, unfortunately. Nope. I could jump on top of the thing from here, though. Okay, it's just ammo. Hmm, okay. Well, this hasn't really fixed our problem, but we've got some new... Can I climb up there on o uh, there and over, do we think? Or is that going to be a no-go? Oh, no. I feel that we should be able to jump over this, but we can't. Uh, she doesn't grab hold of it. Is there a reason for that? No, it's not spiky or anything. So we kind of want to get over there. And we can't get in here. And this is, she won't climb up this. She won't hold on to anything. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I wonder if we need to pull the box out even further. No, I don't think we can do anything more in the box. I guess we can't move any further. No, we can't. Okay, so the box is a no-go. Was there anything in here that I missed? Maybe there was something like an item I missed. There's a key here, but is there anything behind it? Nope. I don't have any keys. No. No. Can't crawl until through. Am I being blocked by a fence? Yeah. The nice thing about this is you can actually use the camera to zoom around and check out any additional paths that might be down here that I might have missed without actually going back through here. I don't think there is, but... Because we did this, that was there. This isn't cheese, this is a clever use of camera mechanics. How do you do that? Double click the sticks, mate. Maybe one of the pillars is already in? I just need to touch it, maybe. Have I got on top of the Sphinx? I haven't. Ah, maybe I, do you reckon I can climb up on top of the Sphinx? Let's use the power of the camera. Can we get up there, do you think? Nothing up there that I can see. There is something here, but I don't know how you get up here. Unless you climb, unless you go here, jump across, and then jump sideways? Would that work? Or can you get on top of here, and then jump up the slope, maybe? Maybe we can do that. What, my new car? Uh, I haven't, it, I mean, it was fun to drive home yesterday, but I haven't uh, much had much of a chance to do anything with it yet, funny enough. Because it was uh, the snow today, so I had to, like, put it on a, on a break. <coughs> I mean, I, she can be very pointy. 
but it's on the new graphics. So can we climb up from here on top of this? No. Can we go on the other side and climb up that way? I genuinely don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. I feel that we want to get up there, but I don't quite know how we how we go about that exactly. Unless I'm missing a reasonably obvious pathway. There's a gate down there, with something behind it. Can I climb on top of this? <coughs> Can I get behind the head of the Sphinx? No, I don't think so. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Well. Can't crouch. No. Sorry, Lara. I got I got her stuck. MB. <laughs> that's that's my bad, Lara, sorry. I think I've ruined everything. Local local man literally ruins everything. The other one I haven't tried out is um, I'm actually going to look just for the sake of a couple of seconds. I wonder what the first stage of Tomb Raider 2 is. I wonder if I ever played it. I'm just kind of curious. I wonder how much better it looks. So I did have Tomb Raider 2 on the PC I think? Are they got separate save files? Yeah, they do. I'm, guess I'm guessing that the... Uh, the FMVs are much, much better. I guess it was a good couple of years later, I assume so. Wow, rip. F. Well, I mean, define better, I guess. <laughs> what a spiteful asshole. That dragon gets fucking zipped and still walks over and tries to cook a guy. I feel he deserves it. They have remastered the FMV, funny enough. That's the old one. That's the new one. Old. New. Old. New. The older one's much grainier. Hey, Vendango, thanks, dude. Yeah, I was just, I was just um, checking out the intro. I haven't, um, I'm currently stuck on Tomb Raider 1. Both literally and figuratively. I got stuck in the wall. And I haven't played Tomb Raider 2 at all yet, so I was just kind of curious what the intro was like. How was your stream? Yeah, on stream, it's probably hard to tell. Actually, I'm looking at OBS. You wouldn't be able to tell. You, you can't tell. Uh, on a full screen, it's it's very obvious for me. Like, between the old version of the FMV and the new one, it's very, very, very obvious. Oh, you can tell. Oh, okay. It is obvious. All right. Grainy. Not grainy. Grainy. Not grainy. Very PS1 pixelization. Do you know, one of the Tomb Raider games I played the most was the one on the Game Boy Color. I think I still have it somewhere. Great game. It was basically Prince of Persia, but with Lara. It's kind of funny. With full motion video, they literally could do anything, of course, right? Like, I mean, look at some of the Final Fantasy VIII ones. They're stunning. And, uh... It's kind of funny how limited the, like the FMVs are as well. Oh, look at that frame rate. 15 FPS, baby! Okay. 
Waiting for more weird shit to happen. I've heard it's supposed to be quite good, that, um... I heard it's supposed to be quite good. Also, this is what Lara looks like in the second... Jesus Christ. I swear they made a boobier. So she she does have a different model, doesn't she, between the two games? It certainly looks like it. It's hard to tell. Actually, why am I doing that? Let's look at the I think it's slightly different. I think she's got a slight it looks slightly different. Of course the older graphics would be the big one, yeah. Cause she looks she looks she looks very, very, very much better in this game compared to the first game. Like like to almost like a almost like half a generational leap in difference, isn't it? What other stuff we got on her? This is classic two. Outfit. Oh, you can actually change her outfit if I wanted to. Classic one, classic two. That's classic one. Oh yeah, it's a lower. It's a, it's like a lower it's a lower top slightly. Like the shorts are similar. But the top the top's got like a lower lower cut bit. Interesting. Training two, training one, training two. Wetsuit. Bomber jacket. I like the bomber jacket. That's really cool. <laughs> Bathrobe's a funny one. Training three. Now with new pants. Nevada. Now with different coloured pants. Pacific. Now with shorter shorts. Catsuit. The Antarctica one's great as well. <laughs> so what does she start with? Oh a med pack, a large med pack, flare, shotgun. Oh, she starts with a shotgun. Interesting. That's it. Can't change the number. Agreed, Ollie. That's it. That's GG. Interesting. Like... Interesting. She... I would say, she, like, Lara moves a little bit, um... What the? Why is there a fucking tiger here? Why am I getting mauled by a tiger? All right, fair enough. Thank you very much for the reset, Bolly. Much appreciated, dude. Sorry, I'm just um, I was just kind of curious how uh, how two how two minute two looked. Interesting. Your jumps never were that good. I think you can you can preempt the jumps, can't you? So if you hold when Lara lands, if you're already pushing the jump and the arrow key, she'll immediately do the jump when she lands. So you're you're not gonna ever miss the jump. And so you can do the jump spin, right? Like that. I'm not sure the game ever tells you about the jump spin. But you have to do it like immediately. I think it has to be on a running jump only, right? Alright, Sloan, how you doing? Thank you for the raid. You're playing Skyrim? Were you doing, um, an Enderall or Endergirl or the Scythe or whatever it's called? How was it? I think you got to do the spin immediately, haven't you? you got to jump and spin, yeah. It's like you go jump and then... There you go. You announce yourself by deleting a random comment. I respect it. Nice. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just, don't mind me, I'm just uh, mucking around with this. No, thank you for the 69, Ollie. That is the, honestly the best month, and you're right, it has to stop immediately. Man, these are great games. Like, I, I've been, I've just been having so much fun. So, so much fun. What, what, a, what a, honestly, a barrel of laughs, uh, Team Radio's. Really looking forward to mucking around with it. Alright, peeps. I am going to call it there, though. It says you're still streaming, son. Is that true? Or is this a fib? It lies. Oh, okay. Sadness. I was going to say it's Raid Rufa quickly. Alright, peeps. Thank you for watching Berserk. I guess we'll finish that off um, next time we play it. it won't be, there's not much left, so...
One step forward, one step back, three times spin and jump forward. Is that like a code? And uh, no. Is that like a level? Is that like a level code? Or is that like? Oh wait, is that the famous one that makes Lara blow up? Is that the one that makes Lara blow up if you do it? In two, yeah. Isn't that when they said like this is a nude code or something, and everyone's like, and they and people tried it and it just blew her up or something. <laughs> First game it was full of ammo and all weapons, and the second it blows you up. Okay, that's great. That's fair. that's actually really trolley. I love that kind of stuff. That's really funny. I'll do it when I actually play Tomb Raider 2, like for propers. I've gotta 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 get through my Tomb Raider one. We'll do we'll do it. It'll be good times. All right, peeps. I'm gonna get my ass to uh, bed shortly. I think I've been up. I got up super early, and I want to get up super early again tomorrow and get, go for this drive if I can. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a lovely stream. It's been good times. I will see you all tomorrow with some Elden Ring. Thank you for the raid, son. Appreciate it. Sorry to end just as you raid. Ask this on my part, but uh, I flee. Good night, everyone. Do take care. See you soon.